Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, team. This is a shoutcast be- by Jovian and Songers. Songers. Got my name. Why would you do that? How could you do that? Oh, I'm just so excited about this game. I just want to see what happens between um, our blue Zerg here, FX of Bugs, uh, spawning in the top left corner, and our red Zerg player, Kaiser Ooze, spawning in the bottom left. Okay, so the map is... In Tube Valley, I got it. I got this in Tube Valley, and the, the you know this map. I've seen this map going to late games for all matchups. It's just the way that this map's built. It's like there's no really easy attack path to your opponent's base. Lots of expansions to get. You can basically split the map. Oh, so many expansions. Every time I play against Zerg on this map, there's always at least one secret expo trying to go up if it doesn't already. Because there's so many places you can sneak in your uh, drone to get just one more hatch. Man, ZBZ, it's going to be an exciting matchup here. Very dynamic matchup. Um, you know, it all comes down to, like, am I going to make a link? Am I going to make a drone? It's, you know, <laughs> you make one extra drone and the other guy has, like, two extra links. Mm -hmm. You can get screwed. I'm really excited to see some sick Baneling Micro and uh, watching those splits come out from both of our Masters players because um, that's always fun to watch. And uh, one Baneling could change the tide for uh, your team. Definitely. Overlord's probably going to go into the middle to kiss each other and know that each other, know that they're spawning from like, I guess, what, what would you call this position? This is not cross, this is more like... This is horizontal spawns. Yeah, there we go, so... And it's a well-known fact that overlords are uh, hermaphrodites, so when they do meet in the middle, one of these is going to decide who's going to be the lady and who's going to be the chum, and they're going to have some crazy overlord sex, I'm um, pretty sure. Well, well that's going to be censored because we're not going to look at that, but um, <laughs> both players going for an early expansion, so... Um, oh, we do see the pool coming up first for Kaiser's uh, ooze, and still no pool coming up for our blue. T oh no, wait, the pool just drops no. now, just to speak of the devil. So pretty, pretty typical timing. Actually, these builds look exactly the same, although Very similar. just a typical, uh, just a little bit of a difference in timings on that gas and that pool. Um, yeah, Might see similar see any, builds. Yeah, no early aggression coming out from either of these players. She's going to be droning up happily. Yeah, and both of these players do want to have a longer, maybe macro game happening here. Um, I feel bad for this overlord. He was he was going to mate with this one. <laughs> this one just left. Like I'm not. No. Oh man, this has gone the wrong way real fast. <laughs> we do see a drone scout coming uh, into Kaiser's Oz base. I guess he wants to see the timing of that hatchery. We'll see that it's just about to pop. Actually, I'm not sure if he did get sight on that. It might have oh, been no. just a second. to check again. Now we'll see that uh, creep spread, and immediately you oh. see drone. Oh, using advantage of that creep. Interesting. I wonder if this was his plan all along. He almost did that purposefully with intent. Hmm. Well, he knows the timing of the hatchery is just the same as his. He's hoping that the um, Kazuzu's uh, delayed his pool a bit, but no, if these lanes are out, he has to cancel and go home. Oh, unfortunate for him. We'll lose some minerals on that um, that spine. Uh, proxy spine build there, um, and never got to scout the base, so never saw his um, opponent's timing on gas, um, has no idea um, what he's doing in there. Mm -hmm. Now look at these numbers, almost exactly the same, four links out for both players, 19, basically 20 drones are the same here. The thing is with ZBZ, is like, you can't get rid of these overlords until later on in the game, basically you have a map hack. Yeah, constant against your, vision against ever. your opponent, and your opponent has a map hack against you. Just, just as good as creep. That, that beautiful map hack. Um, we do see our red uh, Zerg player uh, trying to get some economy up. Not really focusing much on uh, army. Neither of these, um, neither of these Zerg are. And I guess with that map hack that is the Overlords, they can uh, rely on just econing up until they see some movement from their opponent. Yep, speed once again, similar timings. The only difference we see now is that Kaiser is getting that bang in essence. It's close to the completion. Way ahead if um yeah. if Kai if Bugs was thinking of getting that, he is way behind it. Now he does see it, so he did get a skill on that. Let's see if he makes the appropriate response at his own base. Checking his drone count there. No more gas being in mind for a fix a buzz here. And I'm not too sure what he's going to go. He might be going roaches, just be able to tank that Bayman damage, or he's going to rely on his micro of his links. Yeah, and it looks like he is going to go for heavy ling, um, and I'm not sure if this is the right decision against those banelings, and we do see two banelings now are gestating right now for Kaiser's ooze, so these two banelings could do some heavy damage against a, an all uh, an all ling attack. Mm -hmm. Now uh, Kaiser's ooze going up straight for that lair tech now, um, possibly just getting that I'm going to say higher level tech to be able to transition to kill off 
fix the buzz if he does do enough damage with these banelings. And I think he's totally safe to do this. If he can just park a baneling on any any one of the ramps in his base, he can just prevent any one of the, any of that zergling aggression. And with the queen's DPSing in the background, um, and with some lings of his own. And now a Roach Warren coming in. Um, I think he's going to have no trouble dealing with this uh, speedling attack. All right, so here come the Lings. They're going to be checking around Kazumi's base, going up. But these two Banners oh. are going down and instantly running away. But they are going to try to go through. No, they're not going to make it. Yeah, and you did see some heavy damage on that small force. Uh, did lose one Zergling and almost lost another, and, and uh, Kaiser Zeus had lost nothing for it. Kaiser Zeus is in a really good position here, and his, um, I think uh, he's in poised to take this match. Uh, Laird finally coming up for Fixer Buzz as well. Quite behind, but there is Gleo Reconstruction, so that Roach... Is that Roach Speed? Yes, it... No, no. What is it? Is it the Roach Speed or is it the Roach Regeneration? I forget. Yes, so it's the Roach Speed coming up for Kaiser's Ooze here. Because they look like centripetal hoops. <laughs> That's a joke from earlier. Sorry, guys. You're so lame sometimes. <laughs> Over here, you're going to get sniped by the Queen before getting a scout, but I guess it's just too fast. Those Queens are not doing enough damage. Very passive game so far. Um, a pretty nice wall off here from Kaiser's Ooze here, getting the plus one Roach upgrade. So. Just getting those bangers for early defense, not really going to do anything with them, and transition straight into that Roach play. Yeah, and I'm actually surprised to see that Kaiser's uh, Ooze didn't actually scout a little more, see what he could do with this force, maybe be a little more active on the map, because actually maybe that early spine, that proxy spine that uh, was attempted by Bugs kind of put him uh, on his back heels, thinking that his player might try some cheesy cheesy action and want to just uh, have enough army. But right now, we see Kaiser Ooze with a, a, pretty large, uh, a pretty large army ready to... Um, and now ready to move out. Yep, so we do have about 19 roaches up for Kaiser Zeus. Meanwhile, back in Fixabuzz's base, he's getting the double upgrades instead of the single evolution chamber for roaches. So eventually his roaches will top out better than uh, Kaiser Zeus. But roaches. look at this, we see Kaiser Zeus moving out at a perfect time. He's got a nice window to attack before those double upgrades finish. And with his, he's actually moving this out just in time for his level 1 uh, oh, damage upgrades. Those queens might have a bad time, they're going to get surrounded. And instantly oh, slammed down by these roaches. So fast. And now we see um, pretty even sized armies uh, fighting it out, but uh, Kaiser Zeus circlings were a little late, but those uh, roaches for bugs decide to run away a little bit late as well. I'm trying to get a surround on those roaches. All those roaches die because they're not attacking, just moving. Zerglings attacking the roaches on the top. So many roaches in Bugs' base. Going for that natural, killing all the drones. Drones oh trying goodness. to escape. This is devastating for bugs. Just doesn't have the army to deal with this force. And look at that, that plus one weapons upgrade just did so much damage uh, when he was fighting his opponent's roaches. Now most of those have been back here from this main base of Fixed Buzz here, and Kaiser's not giving up. Right after this, he's transitioning into Infested. Oh, good play by uh, Kaiser Zeus. And it would have been nice for Bugs, although he is uh, he did hold long enough for the level one uh, weapon and armor to finish in the midst of this battle. Uh, I'm not sure if it even uh, paid off for him. He could have just cancelled them and got a little bit bigger army in, in uh, with that looming army that came to his base. Mm, now he's losing the hatch. Kaiser's like, okay, I've done my job. I'm just going to go home while grabbing a third base and while getting that investor tech up. He's been researching Burrow, getting oh. plus two attack. And decides to go back for that third base and will easily be able to destroy this. No cancel because it is already built. This guy is born and if he was in Korea, he would be one year old already. <laughs> that is true. Very easy snipe there for our Red Zerg. And now finally, after doing the damage that he needed, he's just going to go home and drone up again. Yeah, we do see Kaiser Zeus playing extremely safe and passive. I mean, he killed two bases and just doesn't want to put the final touches on um, and uh, put bugs to rest. Decides to go back and finish off those rocks instead. Fester's now out with that pathogen gland. Research being done. Has enough energy for fungals if they do uh, if an attack does start to come up his own ramp. Uh, meanwhile, Fix a Buzz is trying to recoup his losses, getting that natural expansion once again, um, and making investors of his own. Yeah, but Fix a Buzz, I feel like, has been playing behind this whole time. Not opting for, uh, and although the Banelings weren't too crucial this game, but just opting for that early Ling and not doing much teching, um, and then losing those two hatcheries, I feel like he... He's just constantly playing catch-up, and I don't know if he can um, catch up to this three-base Kaiser Zaws build. Mm -hmm. More links going around. They're going up the map. I think they're going to be checking for the third base again, just to see if uh, Pixabuzz grabbed it. Looking over there, seeing that it isn't grabbed, he's going to feel so comfortable yeah. right now. 
Yeah, and uh, why wouldn't he? He has he knows he has at least one base up on his opponent, unless his opponent snuck a hatch somewhere off into the corners of the map, which he definitely did not. We do see Kazuzawa is kind of sitting uh, back a little bit. I would like to see him be, have uh, forcing a little bit more map control, forcing our um, blue Zerg to um, build a little bit of an army. And we do see a Hydra list then coming out for Kazuzawa. An interesting choice. I'm not sure why he needs these Hydras to finish this game. Um. Probably not to finish the game. Probably now it's just uh, kind of, I'm just going to clear up all your overlords around the map sort of thing. He does have a really nice creep spread. I mean, the thing with Zerg is your opponent's creep spread helps you too. Yeah. So given that creep highway all the way across his opponent's base, and all of these overlords floating around the place, very easy snipe scare. But look at the overlord spread for uh, Kaiser Zeus. He sees basically all of the map. Yeah, he definitely spread his out a little bit more than Bugs, but then again, Bugs has also been on his heels a bit with base defense, so maybe he doesn't have time to be spending his overlords, sending his overlords around the map. Mm, now third base coming up for Fix-It Buzz. He's trying to get back into this game. Changeling's even scouting out uh, the base <laughs> of Fix-It Buzz. Infestors are popping for him. He did stop upgrades, though. While Meanwhile, uh, Kaiser is now on two weapons and zero armor. These investors are getting a lot of energy. Yeah, uh, currently max, most of them are max. They'll be able to do a heck of a lot. And he does have Burrow, so we might see some special tactics uh, investor play coming out of Kaiser's Laws if he feels so uh, inclined. Now here we go, pushing out. And look at those Hydras now. Though that must be so annoying for Chris was Losing so much, now losing all of these overlords. It's going to be supply blocked by the time that uh, Kaiser's reaches his base, and not going to really go on matter because Kaiser's is maxed out. Yeah, and this is just gravy. Uh, he did push out with that armor and um, range for uh, the Hydralis finishing, so probably was winning his base just for that, but I mean, this army is just uh, too much for Bugs to handle. I, I don't see how he can possibly hold this. You do see him with a nice spread oh, getting ready nice for this pocket. battle. But here we go, infestation is and lots of fungus going a whole army of Kaiser's getting fungled here. Better spread from Pixabuzz is having a nice conquest, but those infested Terrans are just going to do so much damage to this Rhodes army, especially with that plus two attack, making them 10 damage. That's more than a Marine. Oh, and we see the good game from Bugs. Just couldn't get that DPS he needed. Those Roaches were stuck behind each other, and those Hydras with the longer range than the Roaches were able to DPS from the back. So, GG. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. That was the cast um, on the Masters uh, tournament with from Sticky Flames.